During the revolution, the situation in Misrata was difficult because of the ongoing fighting in most of the areas, especially the area of the port. A boat trip was planned to take food and medicine to Misrata and evacuate stranded migrants and the injured for treatment. The trip was supposed to take about 17 hours, but a few nautical miles out, the entry to the port was denied. We decided to continue with the mission as Misrata was under siege and the team felt responsibility to help those in danger. On day three, while we were still trying to communicate with the port authorities, we contacted headquarters and were given the green light to do what was necessary to advance the mission or abandon it if entry was not granted that day. Finally, we got to enter Misrata. There were scenes of great joy and relief. But then, there was an explosion. We started loading the migrants and injured, when a large group of Libyans managed to get into the port and started rushing into the boat. And it was becoming crowded. If this continued, the boat would be too full to leave, and we would endanger everyone. So, I asked the captain to pull up the ram and leave. During this mission, we were able to evacuate more than 1,200 people including a number of medical cases in need of intensive care. We faced huge challenges, but we were always able to address them together as a team. Despite all risks, we are proud that we were part of this mission and proud to be members of IOM.